I think we all take that as red, that in certain countries it's natural and expected, mm. but it's not expected here, is it? Well, do you know what? That, you're right. People will always haggle for things like houses and haggle for cars in this country. But when you go abroad, you haggle for anything. You buy leather jackets in the markets, you know, in the shops. And we enjoy it. We get a great buzz out of it. So why all of a sudden when we get home, can we not do it here? Because, because it's, it's not it's, expected. Is it? And it's funny because you say haggling over a house, you call it negotiation. Yeah. Haggling feels a bit dirtier, <laughs> like a little bit like face to face. Right, dirty can be fun, you know. And that's the whole secret. <laughs> Thank you, Dominic. <laughs> yeah, no. Thank you for that insight. Now back to haggling. <laughs> right. That's the thing about haggling. If you make it a fun and enjoyable experience, when you come away, you've got a buzz, right? And I'm not saying squeeze the retailers so hard that it hurts them. We want retailers to have the business because they're fighting with the internet. But retailers and you should have a bit of fun. You both enjoy it. You come away, you're both smiling. They think you're a bit it's cheeky. Not always you've had a couple it? of quid off. What about when the... I mean, at the end of the day, the high street is dying. It's mm -hmm. on its knees, isn't it? And everyone's trying to be competitive, and we have got online, we've got everywhere. You can buy stuff anywhere. So the price is already set at a, at a competitive price, and then you want to go in there and go, I'm not paying that. But is it a competitive I mean, price, though? Because I always think that. You know when they do the big... Is it Black Friday, they call it, yeah. or whatever? You think, how are they still Spot making a profit? Around, and yet yeah. they're taking 30% off yeah, that. Well, that doesn't make any on. sense to me. So you think, well, no, they could probably do that all year round, they no, don't. Sorry, that does make sense, because it is... What they're saying is over the course of the year you know this is how many units we've shifted we can at this point in the year afford to sell them 30 percent less it doesn't mean there's a 30 percent markup all year round every single day because you know? they've got to well, shift the stock yeah. haven't they? they've got to keep stuff moving right. but Retailing. you do it all the time tell us how you do it and what you get well, what you've got to bear in mind is with a retailer they they're fighting with the internet we know that so what they want they want your business they've got to give you something that the internet doesn't so build a rapport give some, if they can't afford to give much off especially if it's in a sale item Give the customer a little perk. I mean, I don't know if you guys, if you, ever want to, if you say you don't enjoy haggling, go down Brick Lane where you've got the, all the Indian shops down there. Have you ever been down there? Oh, well, yeah. there's yeah. no big discounts at No, but Indian shops, That's I mean, different. my mum, I, when I was younger, haggled on all stuff. So if we yeah. went jewellery shopping or if we, she made all the clothes with the sewing machine yeah. at home, all Indian clothes. I mean, well, she would never, she would go, how much is that yard of material? And if it was 20p too much, we'd leave the shop and we'd go somewhere well, else. But you, could, you couldn't do that in Tesco's or John Lewis. Do you know what I mean? That's exactly right. Or I don't think you could. You can't. Imagine going into Tesco and getting a tin of tuna and haggling. You know, going into Smith and haggling over some Richard, the so you, there's a line, right? You wouldn't go and haggle for a tin of tuna because it's not worth your time to get a couple of pence Or even off. a television in Tesco's. You're not going to haggle in can. Tesco's. Or other shops are available. Let me tell you something. When you buy things They're on not. the online sites, like, for example, eBay, and you see a price, that table's £200, right? There's no facility for haggling, is there? Right, it doesn't say you can haggle. Well, you can make an offer sometimes. No, I'll tell you what you do. Mm -hmm. You go contact seller, send them a, uh, a note, or go to their shop, get their phone number, ring them up and say, hi, I've seen you, your table yeah. for £200. What's your best price? 99% of the time, yeah. they'll say to me, oh, I'll do it for 150 I'll go 130 You could haggle it. They're not paying them. rates. They're not paying... Of course they're paying rates. Rent. They're paying business taxes. And, and they're but still they might not have rent. a shop front that, on the high street that... There's some there's, of the shops we're importing about. stuff. You know, we can't say what they're not paying because there's a whole load of storage and facilities and importing it, and tax yeah. duties. Yeah. Tell, so it. when you when you go into a, a store, what yeah. is the sort of thing that you will regularly, you know, haggle for? What was the last thing you haggled for in on a UK? What about that store? watch? What other watch you wearing? Do you haggle that one? <laughs> this uh, is a sailing watch, actually. I yeah. did. I did. How yeah. much did you get off? How much did you get off? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you because it was a very very large amount of money, and it might, <laughs> it might anyone who's paid full price might be very offended. But All right. you know, so. I, I haggle for everything. I mean, certainly for a watch, without a doubt. But anything, even, in, even what, in a high street really? shop. What about in a restaurant? Restaurants, easily, but I think no. it's with a restaurant. No, no, with a restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> right, here's yeah. the secret of a restaurant. Haggle before you order your food. So well, there's I no, would there's hope no so. Tell me what job. that means. What does haggling in a restaurant right. mean? If I went to a restaurant... It and means you're an annoying in, customer. And I'd look at the menu and I'd say, what can you do if we come in here tonight? And they go, what do you mean, sir? And you say, right. Throw in two bottles of wine. They go, oh. Uh, oh, so you do that do before. It. Do it. See, and then you impress brilliant. your lady and they don't well, know, do they? Or ladies, if I'm taking or a... ladies. Home, ladies. <laughs> you know? I'm doing this all you wrong, know? aren't yeah. I? No, you but are. you say it works. The point being, what we're saying is we think it's impolite. Right? The fact is you can save money. If you want yes, to, you, you can. can actually do right, it. Here's the number one secret. Yeah. Make it fun. Right, because if you get to a situation where there's a tension between you and yes. the person, switch off and walk away, because no one likes that, and it's not fun, it's not enjoyable. But here's a little tip for you: when you go out with your husband or something, you know, go out, and if you're going to buy something, like let's say a TV or whatever, have a little challenge. Let's say, see who can get the most off. 
Right. It, it, what you're saying is that you could... Sorry, the two bottles of wine thing works. <laughs> That's yeah. just a start. No, sure. yeah. That's That's the restaurant. Nice. We'd like to go in here. Can you throw a bottle of wine? And are you going to try yes. I, I just think we, we all try? work very hard for our money and sometimes I want to go out shopping. I want to go and have a nice meal. It, I don't want to yes. have to haggle my way through the whole... You know what it is? Well, you don't you know have to. Energy. It's like yeah. to, to, to yes. involves a commitment of energy that yeah. I've come out shopping. I don't want to get into a debate. You've with got to the roll your sleeves up, getting a bit of a mindset. Well, I don't a couple have of years answer. ago, my sister went through a divorce, and I said to her kids, "Thanks for looking after mum. It's a difficult time. I'm going to treat you both." I said, "I'm going to take you out, so niece and nephew, Jordan and, and Misha." I said, "I'm going to give you two hundred pounds each to buy and whatever you want." Did he haggle that down? Well, I said to them, <laughs> "We go out. You choose what you want. Haggle. If you don't." and you're going to pay the full price, just before it happens, I will haggle. And any money I save, I will get back. Is and they go, we're going to haggle, Uncle Dom. Yeah. And they go up and say, can I have some money off? The shopkeeper would say no. And then they go, I can't get any money off. I would. I'd go get 10, 20, 30% off. Boom. But are, you a bit, are you a bit intimidating? No, because I wouldn't right. intimidate, because then it's not fun. I don't want anyone to feel awkward. I, it's got to be fun. And also, I mean, the point that James on Twitter says is, he says, I haggle all the time. You'd be amazed at how much you can save by just asking, what's your best price? Yep. If mm, they say, that okay. is my best price, I thank them and then I go and I leave, and suddenly... They are able to offer a Anna, discount. Anna, that's quite so a clever point, that, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it's not as much energy as we just made out. Just so simply say, what's your best, say, what's I your used best to price? Have a shop. I used to have an interior design shop for children called Squidgy Things. And so we used to make everything. We used to put blood, sweat and tears into our products, come up with the price, and then someone would walk in and go, what can you do for cash? And I'd be like, well, I could do a dance, I could sing a song, <laughs> but I can't take anything off the price because I literally wasn't actually making any money, which is why it was well, a disaster. I'm not having a big enough hot heart. But it was, why, why, it was actually, too embarrassed to ask. This for is that. a really, really important cultural point you've brought up, which is, you know, the couple in that tape were saying, when we go abroad, we'll haggle over a watch. But in this country, most of the time, in, in, in some other countries, that is built into the price. The only comparable thing in, in Britain, I think, is like housing. You get the value of your house, say it's 200,000, you go, well, let's put it on for 215. Then someone will come yeah. in and make an offer of 200, and you get what you. So you've built in a bit more than it's worth. Except but, I but, think but we you've... don't build it in for other products. No. Yeah. So you're often going to Except I think Dom's everything. point is a good one, because as I was saying yeah. earlier about the sock thing, so I, I have haggled once. But haggling it for me, well, in that one occasion, because I'd read this book by Martin Lewis and it said, you can do it. He literally says, well, you, you can do it. So I went into a really well known um, outdoor clothing shop, a proper high street brand. And I thought, I'm going to try it. Yeah. This is like 10 years ago. And I just sat there and I went, oh, I really want these hiking boots. And I went, OK, lovely, lovely, thank you. Can we wrap them up for you? Whatever. And I said, I'll take them if I can, if you give me those £10 socks over there for free. And the, yeah. the seller was like, and they did. what are you doing? No. He went off and asked his manager and they gave me the socks. Yeah. And I was and like, you know so what? it's not really <sighs> bartering down, it's getting extra stuff. Yeah, that's, that's Were you prepared, way that you can do. Were you prepared to walk away without the boots? Well, they didn't if know they didn't whether I, I don't know. I, but are you supposed to do it? that? You are supposed I to. I am to. not going through the energy and embarrassment of haggling just to get no, some hiking Just to get some free stuff. Do you know what, Richard? I mean, I, I, when, I'm when not you get some money, off, like Randy did a... then, you're talking about it for years after. But if you think about it, £10 fun. a week, you save a lot well, of money She's told us a story twice today, so it must have been fun. What about the poor shop owner that went, but then I didn't make any money because you just gave away them free socks. So now I'm going to have to close the shop. And no, she haggles now because she's seen me do it and she yeah, does it. Yeah, because it works. She is, she's more brutal than I am. Yeah. Well, I, when I ordered a bed not so it. long ago, you do say <laughs> over the delivery price, you go, hang on a minute, I don't want to pay £65 uh, pounds for delivery. Yep. Did you haggle over that? I uh, remember uh, now, I've done it more than once. We're on the same team like, here, Randy. Like yeah. yeah. We're okay, on the same team. This conversation's taking flight. What we're saying is you can do it. You can do it. And actually, there is something also in your personality... I find it embarrassing. Anna, you find it embarrassing. There is something in your personality and your commitment to it that I could see yes. it working. Yeah. It is yeah. that it's you cheekers. enjoy it and you're cheeky. I've and... never, ever once haggled and not had good fun with the retailer. It's always been fun, enjoyable. There's a laugh, there's a giggle. But do you walk away, then, if you don't get what you want? No. If you can't get what you want and you like the retailer, pay it. At least right. you've tried. OK? The only time I'd ever walk away is if I didn't like the company. If they weren't very nice about the haggling situation, they were a bit rude, then I'd think, well, OK, if you're like that when I'm buying it, what are you going to be like if there's a problem? Mm. Look, then I'd walk and away. And when all said and done, and this is why we know it works, Dominic Littlewood is wearing a more expensive watch than anyone else in this room, right? So... So, you know. I think there's a time and a place, isn't there, for a haggle, maybe? Yeah.
but not with me. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Uh, you're, you're, you're just in If you learn how to do it, you'd have a great fun and oh. you, you would actually start doing it. Fascinating. Well, when I did Dunk It, Dunk It, Dunk for 10 years, I'd have people emailing and tweeting me saying, I tried Hagley for the first time. Amazing, I got some money off. And people, you're buzzed, you're enthused yeah. about it. It's a good, good experience.